What's going on guys, it's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and I'm back with my 10th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at The Defiler, sawed off shotgun, and I apologize for not bringing this review to you sooner as I recorded the footage and never got around to editing it for review. The Defiler is a unique weapon available to players once they reach level 5 and have purchased the season pass for The Division. But before I get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the Defiler. The country of origin is unknown, but from my research, could be Sicily, Italy. The rate of fire is 200 rounds per minute. The magazine size is two rounds, one in each barrel. The fire type is semi-auto only, and the reload speed is somewhere around 2.5 seconds. The Defiler is a sawn-off shotgun and can be picked up at the Postmaster and is available to players if they purchase the Season Pass and have reached level 5. There is very little information available concerning the Defiler, so I'm going to be going with my own research. It is most likely a Lupara, which is an Italian word referring to a sawn-off shotgun of the break-open type. The word Lupara means literally, for the wolf, reflecting its traditional use in wolf hunting. The shortened barrel or barrels of a Lupara lend themselves to easier handling in wooded areas or to easier concealment and indoor employment in urban areas. The lack of choke contributes to a wider spread of shot when the weapon is fired. The Lupara received notoriety as they were used by Italian organized crime syndicates and was further popularized by the movie series The Godfather. The Defiler is interesting in that it is available to you very early in your gameplay and is currently the only known weapon in the division to have level scaling damage. Pumping out huge amounts of damage at near melee range, it can drop most enemies in two shots and, and reload speeds are not bad at somewhere around 2.5 seconds. In addition, it does not occupy one of your two primary spots, but rather it will fill your sidearm roll. As a sidearm, you will never run out of ammunition as all sidearms in the division are granted infinity ammo. I found the recoil to be hefty, but nothing too severe to warrant not using this unique weapon. With the sawn off barrels, expect a large spread of pellets, so you will need to be in quite close to your target to deal the most damage. Shots at medium range will deal some damage, but expect to fire both barrels and reload to follow up with additional shots to drop your foe. No stats are currently available for the Defiler, but I did find that the optimal range is somewhere around 10 meters and N. Being a unique weapon, the Defiler features a perk that is unlocked once you reach the needed level in firearm, stamina, or electronics, and the perk can vary from player to player. I'm going to rate the Defiler a 3 out of 5 stars. While it does wreck in certain situations, you will quickly outclass this weapon and replace it in your inventory. I did like how it was available so early on in my playthrough, but with an effective range of 10 meters and in, I found that I had to force myself to use it instead of one of my superior primaries. Those of you who have to have a shotgun equipped, but don't want to use up one of your valuable primary slots, perhaps this is the weapon for you. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. I will leave a link in the description below to my entire playlist of The Division Weapon Reviews. Remember, for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.